Hello everybody, my name is Daniel Silasco and together with my colleagues Nico Feld, Carlo Fleming and Benjamin Weyers from the Human Computer Interaction in Trier and my colleagues Philipp Lungershausen, Andreas Morgenthal, Sascha Schmitz and Thorsten Matern from Classic Archaeology in Trier, I am working towards preservation and availability of heterogeneous cultural heritage research data via a virtual museum. Yes, this means we are talking about research data management. Research data management is omnipresent today and together with digitalization it gets completely new dimensions regarding chances but also challenges. At the end, research data management is about preservation. A lot of you have a computer science background and thus know this is a solved problem. But is it really? There are initiatives to build up the necessary infrastructure, but today, when available, they are easy storage solutions, massively lacking tool support and thus not integrable into dynamic workflows. But research data management is not finished with storing data, it just starts. We want to work with the data, we want to share the data, we want to explore and visualize the data. At the end, this means additional requirements. We want to keep our research data available and the web seems to help us here. And we want to keep it accessible and explorable. With our work, we are focusing on research data management in cultural heritage and archaeology. This data is very heterogeneous, all the time develops and changes. There are archaeological sites, reconstructions, knowledge about people, culture and their behavior. There is media, reports, excavation protocols and even more texts. A lot of data is not attached to a specific place, but rather to a region or only to a point in time or tribe. Ha! I got lucky! Someone put the data into two piles already. You may have noticed the left pile is visualizable in 3D space and explorable in VR. There are a lot of successful city reconstruction projects today. However, they all are regularly criticized for being without life. But the reason for this is not that VR is not the appropriate medium, but that life, behavior and just people are very difficult and expensive to implement today. Thus, VR seems still to be the right pick here. The right pile of data tends to be better explorable in a desktop or web-based application where the user can make efficient use of keyboard inputs and existing tool chains. Now the goal of course is to get the maximum out of both technologies without losing connection. Not losing the connection between the different media and the connection between the data. Because having access to everything makes the big picture. To cover all the data, we came up with a concept for a virtual museum. First, we decided that the data should be accessible via multiple devices and current developments in VR as well as web standards help us here. As entry point or entrance to our museum serves a website. Then there is an open air part of the museum, a reconstruction of Augusta Treverorum, which is Trier in the year 400. The two parts are completed by the museum's lobby or immersive archive, which connects the two other parts of the museum. You might have noticed the hiker carrying a backpack and that's for a reason. The idea is that the immersive archive is by far not the most efficient place to screen tons of data and texts, but maybe helps to pick up some data and carry it into the other parts. So far the concept. The project currently is in an early stage, but there are still some moving pictures we can show you. Let's visit our museum starting on the website. Next to a gate to the more immersive parts of the museum, there's a knowledge graph visualization and in future also interactive maps. Let's have a look on the knowledge graph. In the background, metadata and its connections are stored in a knowledge graph and as such, it is nicely visualizable as a note link diagram. You can see a first drafty visualization here, already allowing for some data exploration. Here we find a floor plan of a Roman villa in Konz, a city very close to Trier.
Back to the entry page, we now want to enter the immersive archive. In the archive, we find different types of media and can explore it. Then there's a walkable map, which in future will be synchronized to the interactive maps on the website. Now it is already possible to explore different types of maps and overlays. There we find a shelf which exclusively deals with content about the city villa in cons, indicated by the small model topping it. For instance, containing our paper. And of course, also the floor plan we saw earlier. Last, there is a min miniaturized model of Augusta Trevorum itself. and we can throw ourselves into the open air museum. We directly landed on the old Roman bridge, which you possibly would have passed when this would be not a virtual workshop. We pass one of the gates and enter the city. Everything but the sites you can see is procedurally generated and placed. That's it for the short insight. Obviously there's still a lot to do and here's a part of stuff we are currently working on. Content creation, be it metadata curation and 3D modeling is a huge bunch of work and we are tackling it. Then we are working on a system for managing the metadata that is produced by the 3D modeling process itself. Addressing the fact that new findings and research changes the current picture of the city permanently the whole city is dynamically generated with every start, utilizing the OpenStreetMap software stack. You can imagine it as a 3D tile renderer for an OpenStreetMap database. Next, we are generating the development where it is not defined by excavations or other proofs. Then, we do not want to stop with the year 400. We want to travel through time and are working on the back ends allowing for this and the front ends being able to interactively visualize this. Last but not least, we are already using the Open Air Museum also for research on virtual museum, such as visualizing conflicting theories. Finally, let's have a look on the challenges we are facing. Where in the case of the open air museum it is most of the time clear where and how to place things, it gets a whole nother story in case of the immersive archive. Thus, this is usually done by professional curators in reality. Interaction concepts for cross-platform applications are challenging by itself and such is performance. You want to support every platform with the maximum possible. The by far biggest challenge are access rights. This project is a proof of concept hopefully attracting more users, because it gets really interesting as soon as people start sharing their data in and with the system. But to encourage this, the system has to provide access right management or nobody would or can share their data. This point is heavy, because this mountain is too high to be climbed by us alone. Thank you for your attention.